You know that the museum is, is working on a very big Picabia exhibition, and I was wondering whether when you were in Paris you looked a little bit at Picabia as well. Oh, you know, he is... See, this is very strange, you know, friend? You know, one of the modern masters called Tayyab Mehta, once he, he was a very strict person. He was not very free, you know, but... So one day he just, you know, he said, you talk about Picabia in your painting, you talk about Duchamp. He said, do you know? They paint. They did whatever they did in early 20s uh, in, in, in France. What do you have to do with it? So I said, yeah, you are right. Then I said, but Tayab, this man, Picabia, he bothers me every morning in Ghatkopar, <laughs> in this suburb. What shall I do? Wonderful. You know, so next day he called me. He said, uh, I think you're right. You, you can talk about the show or Picabia in your work, yeah. And I, I, I somehow, you know, because Picabia also had a very uh, uneven, you know, uh, things in his work. There's not a singular thing which, you know, like he found it and then went on all his life developing, you know. Uh, I'm, I'm not saying those who do that, with they're not a good artist or anything, but I, I just uh, like Picabia. So Picabia is a constant uh, sort of uh, reference and influence as well. Certainly in the 80s in the United States, Picabia with David Sally, as we were talking about earlier, we have a huge re uh, uh, reference. And now, uh, with the notion of the simultaneity of the screen, people are re-looking at Picabia again as well, maybe not necessarily in painting sometimes, but that's this idea of simultaneity of information that uh, you were talking about and that we see in the works with this backdrop of a um, common architectural infrastructure. So that's the thing. I mean, it's something very contemporary, but there's also something very... Um, Handmade. I mean, there's a um, in German it's Heimlich. There's a hominess, so that you your local. It's it's like that movie that starts out with a very tiny pin, and then it goes into larger and larger until it's the universe. That's kind of yeah. But I think that generation really also really that was the first generation of artists where the work really was about the modern city, the modern metropolis, and it gets back to your interest in that kind of metropolitan art right. making. Um, it might not be a reflection of it, but is it? You know, you're part of it as opposed to being a reflection of the, the fabric of the city. Yeah, you're part of it. The, the, I have a question about the facture on this work, and it might be my own uh, ignorance. So you have a, a background in what we could broadly call photorealism. But like John's, you, you have these different ways of attacking the canvas, right? So that the, the, um, the infrastructure or the back matter here um, is painted in a different way than the, what's, what's in the foreground. Yeah. And, um, but there's also a discipline and a rigor, so that I, I, my eye can't understand whether it's, it's at once handmade, but it's also has this very specific photorealistic facture. Mm -hmm. And I was wondering about the different languages. This is something in the in the practice that's always been this different yeah. uh, artistic you, languages. You know, one of the things about the shutter as a device, yeah. uh, as a theme or a subject matter, which allows me diverse things. Like I can, you know, because when you go because. Essentially, the roller shutters are on the street, and on the street, you know, there are all kind of things you see, you know, spill, paint, graffiti, some posters, and some, you know, whatever uh, uh, is, you know, there. So it, it, it allows me to kind of, you know, incorporate diverse things. So I said, instead of, you know, like any uh, third grade Bollywood poster, what if I have a very serious cinema poster on the shutter? What will happen? That's one thing. Then there is a text could come. Then um, and there's this. The interruption. Yeah, exactly. Which is just this formal element of paint, raw yeah. paint, right? Yeah, yeah. yeah. So, um, uh, essentially, I, initially I thought that I would, you know, add something. Uh, Malevich, you know, like this is also strange that Malevich and Mondrian, you know, like I'm totally, I never was an abstract painter, but somehow I feel going back to them again as well. I don't know why, what is that? And that mystery is something, you know, which is, so, but I, now when I see this, you know, subtle, this thing which is uh, in the background, which, which I like, so I may just leave it like that, but let's see. And now this particular one line, which is a Gujarati poem, but it's written in, in English. It says, why are you cooking me in a black fire? You know, so uh, that's it's one. No, no, it's not that. It's, it's, you know, it's written in, in, the, in the, the Gujarati book. It's written English text, but in Gujarati, yeah. So, so that, that's something you know, which, which, uh, which intrigues me, which inspires me, which tells me to kind of, you know, uh, uh, 
It also makes this interesting east and west connection that you're making with rain. Yeah, yeah, exactly. Yeah. In the deaf, uh, I have lost my echo in the deafness of your ear. Ear, yeah. Ear. What does this mean to you, Atul? Because this looks like pretty much a straight sort of a reproduction. Hmm. What does it mean to you in terms of your creative output as a, as a painter? What you is know, the significance well, yeah, I mean, you know, like, that you um, want to invest in this? Uh, I mean, of course, I mean, I'm pleasure. interested in history and the past and, you know, what happened um, during, you know, um, I mean, they're all my ancestors in a way that, you know, that, so that, that's something which, which, which interest and which we do look at, one learns a lot, like, like I'm learning from masters of the past in, in, in the art world. So that's there, but you see, sometimes it's just when I saw the chart. You know, I thought this, this would be interesting and they are all well-known names. And the idea is that uh, one thing I knew, that I'm going to paint as it is with the bright colors. And top of it, I, I will apply very thin black enamel wash. And when it's semi-dried, I put the paint and I kind of make a drips. So ultimately, it's going to be that all these figures are whipping. Oh. That's my plan. That's I, that I know. But then what should be inside <coughs> that I still don't know? Whether I should retain this text or should I kind of get rid of that also I am not sure at the moment but one thing I am very sure that it will be under you know solid thin black layers and it will be seen through and lots of drips will be falling and uh, as if they are all weeping. So just as you claim a kinship with say a Godard yeah. or a Picabia, do you also claim a kinship with a popular painter unknown? His yeah you know I mean uh, it's a love-hate relationship with popular and kitsch you know that I I uh, because it's all the time it's there and it's people just love bright it's colors great. and there yeah it's it's there you know i mean it's part of uh, our life so in that sense i feel that you know it's it's not, un not that area is not untouchable area it could come you know and it could be used in a certain way so when i did you know um, scenes from marriage regardless uh, where i went for the laminates and you know with a popular imagery with enamel paint, garish, gaudy colors and all. I thought this would be uh, ideal for that kind of a thing. And uh, yeah, it's like sometimes, you know, you want to laugh and do joke and, you know, you want to relax. I do those kind of things. Uh, then there is um, stuff which becomes, uh, whether even I, I don't want to be too serious, but it becomes serious when I go to Gandhi or something, but generally I notice that this is a very much part of the popular culture, the shutters, but all the shutters up till now has very, very kind of, a, yeah, more sort of a sad aspect of life, you know, what's happening, that comes, you know, there. This also ultimately is going to be very, very poignant work, I feel. It won't be a thing which is, uh, will be of, with humor and laughter.